Hello everybody. I decided to make a re-upload of part 1 just for the sake of quality because I know that in the video you actually can't even read probably can't even read uh, the text that uh, that you that's pretty much the point of playing this game. So I'm going to for the sake of quality, I am going to re-upload part 1. Uh, but uh, I will still keep part 1 up. So you can go watch that if you like. So, yeah, here we go. Hmm. That is really late. I even got a message message from the guild saying he'd be home today too. act a little bit and shira has gone traveling around the kingdom on some some kind of training i'm so bored maybe i'll just practice with my staff a bit more before dinner hey i'm home daddy sorry to have kept you waiting still did you take good care of the house while i was away <laughs> Of course I did. Did you run into any trouble, Daddy? You didn't get hurt fighting the bad monsters, did you? Nope. I'm as fit as a fiddle. That reminds me, though. I brought you a present. Really? What kind of present? A new fishing pole? Sneakers? Something for my training? Maybe I raised you wrong, Estelle. Aren't little girls supposed to like clothes and jewelry? I like pretty clothes, but they just get dirty. And jewelry breaks when you go play outside with the dawn. Anyway, Daddy, what's with the blank big blanket? Is that my present? Oh, you're a sharp one. Now why don't you come have a cl have a look? <clears throat> what? Well, here you are. Quite a handsome boy, don't you think? Why is my present a boy? Don't make such a fuss or you'll wake him up. Wake him up? <laughs> wake him up? You mean he's still alive? Looks kind of dead if you ask me. I've treated his, I've treated his wounds, so he should be in stable condition. In the meantime, however, we'll need to let him rest. Put him to bed, so if you wouldn't mind heating a kettle of water on the stove, I'd appreciate it. Okay. He sure sleeps soundly. And he almost looks the same age as me. This is the first time I've ever seen black hair like that too. He certainly does have a nice head of dark hair. And a pair of amber eyes to go with it. That's nice and all, but how about you come clean and fess up? Fess up? Yeah. Who's this kid anyway? And why is he hurt? Why did you bring him to our house? Is he an illegitimate... Illegitimate... Ill, uh, illegitimate child or something? Did you portray mommy? Have you been picking up those, these kinds of words? Not that from Sherazard, I assume. Yep, that's right. For heaven's sake, that girl is going to get me into trouble for one of these days with all her nonsense. Actually, I just met this boy while I was out on business. And I don't even know his name. You mean... You mean, Brazer business? Something like that. Oh, look. Huh? He's waking up. Mm. Wow, his eyes really are the color of amber. Where am I? So you're awake now, are you? Welcome to my humble home. 
You'll be safe here, so please just try to rest. Where, where are you trying to pull? Huh? You must be out of your mind. Why? Why didn't you just leave me there to die? Why? Now that's a question I don't know how to answer. Does things just work out that way? Work for you? Don't tie with me, Cassius Bright. Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself involved in? Hey! You're sure shouting a lot for someone who's supposed to be hurt. Running your mouth like that is just gonna make it take longer for your body to heal. Uh, and just who are you supposed to be? I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. She's my daughter. Don't you remember me telling you that I have a daughter your age? Now that you mention it. Wait a minute. Don't try and change the sub. Ow! Quit yelling! Alright, alright, alright. But you jumping on me like that isn't going to make me heal any faster either. I don't hear you yelling again, do I? Look, jumping on me like that is just going to make things worse. Do I hear yelling? Oh my god, my, s <laughs> my voice just. <laughs> Never mind, just forget it. As a word of advice, it would be wise not to argue with Estelle while you're in this house. Even I wouldn't stand a chance if I made her mad enough. Yeah, I can see that. By the way, aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Huh? Your name! You know, the thing that people call you? I told you mine already, so don't you think it would be unfair and impolite not to tell me yours? Um... It seems like the logical thing to do, if you ask me. Trying to hide it now would only serve to your detriment. Fine. My name is... And we're moving over to the cutscene.
those trails in the sky. And we're back. Here at the house. Okay. Dad cooking food for us. So bright in here. Mm. Mm. I slept like a rock. Mm. That must mean it's Dad's turn to cook this morning. I wonder if that means Joshua's still in bed. Ah, guess that's a no. Well. I guess I'd better get myself ready then, too. Nice, Joshua. Bravo! Good morning, Estelle. I hope I didn't wake you. Uh, I was already up when I heard you start to play. I can't believe how awake you are, though. Even, though, even the roosters still have bags under their eyes. But I mind. What with that siren song of yours gently lulling this beautiful woman from her slumber. What do you mean? We're the same age, and I'm hardly a man. Even though your voice is very... deep. <laughs> How wrong you are, Joshua. You may be the same age, but I am clearly the woman of the house. And that makes you something like my loyal follower, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah. How fortunate for you. Could it, you could at least try and sound a tiny bit insincere. It really is a nice tune, though. Cheerful, yet somehow wish wistful. Wistful. I like your other songs, too, of course. This one's my favorite. Uh, what's it called again? The Whereabouts of Light. That's right, The Whereabouts of Light. I wish I could play the harmonica like you, Joshua. Sadly, it's a lot harder than it looks. Compared to, compared to what it takes to use a staff, I think the harmonica is much easier. It's really just a matter of concentration. You're probably right. I guess my problem is just that if I don't do something that uses my whole body, it starts to feel drowsy. Okay. Playing the harmonica is fine and all, but how about getting some exercise too? All your hobbies are sitting around kind of stuff, like reading and music. No girl is gonna be impressed with just that. Well, excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies. Although, I feel like I should be the one lecturing you about your hobbies. I mean, what kind of boy wants a girl who loves fishing, collecting bugs, and has a fetish for sports shoes? Uh, that's enough to talk about hobbies for now. And for your information, I graduated from bug collecting a long time ago. Really? Really? I'll believe that when I stop finding beetles in the hallway. Hey! Hey! Estelle! Joshua! Morning, Dad! Good morning, Dad. Is breakfast ready? It's ready and waiting. Why don't the both of you hurry on down before it gets cold? Okay. I'm on my way. Thanks for the thanks for the crap, Dad. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you eating or inhaling this time? <laughs> Like people say, kids who eat and sleep a lot, grow a lot. Remember that, kids. Eat your vegetables. 
Well, make sure you get enough to eat. But don't forget to power that energy into your work too. That reminds me, you two are finishing up your training at the guild today, aren't you? That's right. It's, it'll be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. Once we're finished, we'll be races just like you did. That means I'm not going to let you treat me like a kid anymore, either. You still lack understanding, is that? You can only become a junior bracer in the beginning, or in other words, a trainee. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you should work extra hard in your training to become a full-fledged bracer. Well, I'm not afraid of a little hard work. Just watch and see what I'm capable of, Dad. I'll be so successful that it won't be long before I pass you too. That's the spirit. Let's see what you're made of then, shall we? Let's not start a war rivalry here, you two. And Estelle, keep your focus on the task at hand. We have a test later on today, remember? Huh? Wait, wait, what test? Please tell me that you didn't forget about the test, Estelle. You know the one that checks whether or not we've mastered the skills we've been learning and training? Don't you remember Shara saying that if we failed, We'd be stuck with a ton of extra homework. Crap, totally forgot. Now that you mention it, I guess I kind of remember her saying something like that. Don't sweat it, I'm sure we'll manage somehow or, or other. I honestly don't know how you survived this long as though. Your brain is like a sheath. Papa is sad. How could any child of mine end up with such a careless, over-optimistic personality? Heh, <laughs> you're the one that raised me, so I definitely got it from you! I swear, the two of you act so much alike, but whatever. We should probably head over to the guild soon, Mr. Shiro's going to be waiting there for us. Sounds like a plan! You know how crazy scary she gets when someone keeps her waiting? Oh, before I forget, it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. Is there anything in particular you'd like to eat, Dad? Any requests? Mm, something I'd like to eat, huh? How about ruined style scalloped fish in a balsamic vinegar sauce? What's that? <laughs> I think that's a little more than Estelle's cooking skills can handle. Or our stomachs. You're right. I just wanted to see what kind of reaction I could get. I'll just have the usual fried fish and omelette. No need for anything fancy, but do try to make something edible. How rude. But I can't actually say he's rude. Actually, I do have one favor to ask before you head out. I'd like you to pick me up a copy of the libel news from the general goods store. We're supposed to be getting the latest edition in today. Got it? One copy of the libel news from the general goods store. Receives 500 mil. If there's any money left over, you can have it as your allowance. However, that means no wasteful spending. Alright, thanks, Dad. Okay, we're heading out now. See you later, Dad. Work hard and give Sherasad my regards. Alright. That will do it for this re upload of episode. So we've now reached the point where we left off at the original episode. So, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.